it has come to my conclusion that I have a problem. Do you see this? So why does it look like I got hit by a bus in the middle of the night? Um, well, I'll tell you. I just realized that every time I have a protective style, instead of taking it out in one day, like a normal functioning adult in society, I slowly take it out of the back and just pretend like nothing happened. And I wear it in a bun. I'm very convincing. Wait a second. Where'd the moldy potato go? You know what I mean? So this is what I've been doing for the last two weeks and um, it gets worse. I've had this protective hairstyle in since November. Oh, that's not crazy. Oh my God, it's not that big of a deal. It's February. Yeah. And I've just been slowly pulling out the hair and then going into the world like this. I need to take this out and stop being a wimp and just bite the bullet, make the whole day out of it, do the wash day and all that stuff. And I was gonna do it by myself and then I was like, you know what misery likes? Company. So you guys are gonna come with me and go through this process and you'll see the final results. So right now, I look like a moldy potato. We're aware, I'm not even upset about it anymore. And by the end of this, I'm going to resemble a girl and maybe even a cute one. So I have my weapons of choice, my comb, scissors to cut the ends when I take out each one, water for hydration. This is your cue to drink some water now too. I know you haven't been and we've talked about this already. Go grab a glass of water, I'll wait. Okay, I also have entertainment. I'm gonna watch something while I do this and we're gonna power through and we're gonna stop these vicious cycles. Look at me. I, it's never been this bad. I've never allowed it to get this far. Am I ashamed? Mildly. Um, it's just more convenient this way, but I'm trying to get out of that. So I guess I'll say yes or whatever. And like, look how 50% <laughs> of my hair is in a protective style at this point. The other half is just, has been hanging out like this. And some days I even have the audacity to just wear it out and not in a bun. So that's, that's how we're doing right now. Thank God I know how to hide it a little bit. So the first step is taking out the rest of my hair and these butterfly locks. Underneath these locks are like faux locks. So right now this is just wrapped hair. I'm just gonna show you the first one and then I'll do the rest. It's just wrapped hair right now around my faux lock. I can pull them out like this. Just in case you ever have this hairstyle and you can't figure out how to take your hair out, you just pull down the wrapped part like so, like that. And then my hair is tucked in here so you find your braid. Where is it? Let's see. I feel like it's like fishing. Am I gonna catch one? Let's see. Oh, right here. So this is my hair. This is the faux lock. So then I take my scissors and yeah, okay. So I just cut off the faux lock and this is my hair. Every time I take my hair out, I always cut the ends because I'm sure they're damaged and we don't need them anymore. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. Okay, let's get started. Please wish me luck. I really don't wanna do this, but here we go.
Okay, I finally took out all of the faux locks, so this is just my hair now. So now the second step is to comb out every single one of these and detangle. So now you see why I waited so long. I don't want this image going anywhere but here. Uh, this is a safe space. I don't need any comments because I already know I look like an old janitor's mop. But I don't need you to say it. So we're going to go to step two. I'm going to take out all of these. Like I'm literally already sweating. Do you want to see the aftermath of what just happened? Because I already took out most of them, it's not that much, but yeah. I have a small fur dog on my bed at this point. But now to step two. Okay, I did it. I finally took it all out. I have a small fur child at this point and an even larger fur child on my head. I went through the seven stages of grief, but now I've come to the point where I've accepted it. I'm fully in it. And I had to take a break in between just because I got hungry and tired, so now we're at the point where we took out all the locks, cut all the ends, and took out all the braids and stuff and detangled. So the next step is like usually just washing my hair out really well, putting in some conditioner, rinsing all that out, and then putting in a hair mask because my hair has been in these braids since November, so like four months. So they need some hydration and love and stuff like that, which is all fine. And like I understand she's needy and she needs all of that, but it's also 11 p.m and I've been doing this for four hours. So that's gonna wait till tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just going to separate my hair in like half, twist it up, and we'll just revisit this nightmare tomorrow. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna twist these up and we'll try again tomorrow. This is day two of Operation Meltdown. We finished a lot yesterday, a lot was accomplished. I just woke up. This is what we're working with this morning. I'm gonna go wash it and then we'll come back and put a hair mask in it and then go to the next phase. Okay. Just got out of the shower. This is what it looks like with no product in it, just water. I have an oil mix. It's black castor oil and jojoba oil. And I just heat it up for 30 seconds. I also have this hair mask that I use. It's by Shea Moisture. So now we're gonna section each hair and put in the mask and the oil. It's a new day. We have new morale. We can do this. I'm just gonna get some gloves because the black castor oil is really sticky and I don't want it stuck in my hands. And then we're just gonna section every part off and then go under the dryer after this because we're gonna like do a hot oil treatment type of situation. So I start off with splitting my hair in two, put this side away. And when you're doing this, try to just use your fingers as much as possible. The only reason why I'm using a wide tooth comb is because I just took my hair out of a protective style that it was in for like four months. So it kind of needs a little like roughness to get all the knots out and everything. I detangled in the shower, but just in case, I just want to make sure I'm starting the week off with clean, healthy hair. If you guys want to see my wash routine, I can do another video on that. I just didn't record it because this is already a pretty long process. Let me 
section this off one more time just to tangle lightly. If you feel any resistance, like at all, just slow down. Don't think of this as something you have to do. Think of it as like you get the opportunity to take care of yourself, to take care of your hair. Just changing your mindset makes it like less frustrating when it takes a long time. And you can just make it something that you feel like is a part of self-care, because it really is. I know it's a lot of work, but at the end of the day, it's gonna get you closer to the healthy, happy hair that you want. So that's detangled. I already heat up my oil and I have my hair mask. So I'm just gonna go get the gloves and then we can apply. So the first thing I do is even take this section, section it in half, because you wanna get every strand like completely saturated. Make sure it's detangled with your fingers. You don't need a comb anymore. I take the mask, take about this much, rub it together and just make sure you get the shafts of the hair, like every single piece. And if you feel like it's still dry, just grab a little more. It smells so good too. This is my favorite hair mask. Be sure to really focus on the ends because that's the hair that has been on your head for the longest and it's the driest and needs the most attention. So really try to add as much as you can. If it's not needed, don't overdo it, but like make sure it's the most hydrated section. And once it looks good, you feel like everything has a little bit of product on it, then I go in with the oil and just rub it all the way down. And that's it. And then you're gonna do this to the rest of your head in four sections. And then each section you have, each quarter you have, you just section that in half and just so on and so forth until you're done with your entire head. Once you're done, put on a disposable shower cap, but I don't have one, so I'm gonna use a grocery bag. And then just put on a sh another shower cap just to keep all the oil in there. <sighs> and then you can sit under a dryer if you have one of the portable dryers for an hour. Or if you don't, just blow dry your hair for 30 minutes and it's gonna be just as good. So I'm gonna go get my portable dryer and sit under there for an hour. Okay, we're done drying, so now I'm going to wash everything out and then we'll put in some product and braid them down so that they'll be ready for tomorrow. So I just got back from rinsing out all of the hair mask and the oil. So now we are going to style it. This is what it looks like just with nothing in it, just simply rinsed out. It's so soft and it smells so good. But now we have to put product in it and prepare it for wearing it out. I usually don't do wash and goes. What I usually do is after I rinse out everything, I will put in all my products that I need and then I'll do two twists and wear it for the night. I'll usually do this on Sunday and then on Monday I'll take it out, refresh them, and then just go about my week. So what we're gonna do now is separate the hair into two parts like so. And we're gonna work in fours again, just like last time. So once you have a section out, I usually use water and conditioner, that water and conditioner mix that we used before, just to refresh it a little bit. And I don't use a comb at this point because you've detangled plenty of times by now, so you can just be gentle. So I just use the water. And once I feel like my hair is completely saturated with water, I start putting in products. I'm a firm believer that at this point, you just put as little products as possible and just continue to use the same products every time you do this process. Cause I think your hair like remembers them and reacts just as well every time when you use them. So I only use three products now. I use the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream, the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard, this is one product that I swear by. It is so incredible, it smells amazing, and it like gives your hair definition without making it sticky or crunchy or anything. It's amazing, it's one of my favorite things. I'll never stop using this. And then, if you were born in the 90s and you have curly hair, you know that this is a staple. So this is just the blue magic. I just put this on my ends after I put this stuff in because I feel like it seals my ends and it keeps me from getting split ends. So now that we have one of the fourths out and we already sprayed it with water, I just use about this much of the Cantu leave-in conditioner cream, spread it around. Again, focusing on the ends because that needs the most love and attention. Now we're gonna add the coily custard for definition. This is a good amount here. 
I miss the smell. I miss having my hair done. There's no better feeling than like having your own hair back after you put it in a protective style for a while. And then just like smelling the combinations of all the like hair products you use, it's my favorite. Okay, now that we're done with that, they look pretty juicy, I'm not gonna lie. I have really great shrinkage, which means your hair is healthy, so don't be upset if you have really nice shrinkage as well. It's a lot shorter than it was when we started this video, but that just means my hair is doing good. So I'm telling you a process that actually works, because I used to have terrible curls, super poofy, really gross. If you want to see how my hair used to look, you can see my other curly hair video. I'll put the link in here, but ever since I've started using this process, my hair has been amazing, I'm not going to lie. Okay, now that we're done with that part, I just seal the ends with the blue magic so I just take my ends and do this and that's it that's one section down and you just have three more to go <laughs> so I'm gonna fast forward the rest of them and then we can see what the final product looks like okay I just finished putting them into two twists they don't have to be perfect or pretty if you're not wearing them out because I'm not I'm just gonna sleep in them and like do errands in them. So tomorrow when I take them out, I will show you exactly what they look like. It just feels good to have my hair clean and not so heavy in that protective style. But this is what it looks like at the end. It should be juicy and hydrated, super hydrated. If you do this frequently like I do, I do it every Sunday. It's a part of my Sunday you know, reset routine. And if you just make a day out of it, do it every single week consistently, I am telling you, you will see the results that you wanna see and your hair is only gonna get healthier. So that's it for now. I'm going to show you the end results in just a moment. And when I say in a moment, I mean tomorrow. All right, so I realize now as I'm editing this that we did not have the audio. <laughs> So I'm just gonna explain what I'm saying here. Basically, I was just showing you how it came out. It's super defined, very hydrated. You can see how long my hair is. It's really growing and I have a lot of shrinkage, which is fine. I think it came out really nice. And if you do this every Sunday, you'll see such a huge difference as I have. Leave a like and comment down below and tell me if you've tried it or if you have any other hair recommendations for me. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.